Hey guys, it's Zach with Joker's Trains. I know it's been a really long time since I made a video, as you guys have let me know by asking me on YouTube and Facebook where the videos are. Now, I think the last video I did was September of the B&O E7s. So, um, I got a couple new engines. Uh, this engine here is the brand new Lionel Legacy Heisler Cast Scenic Railroad on it. Um, as you guys have heard me say in the past, I'm sure that I'm from West Virginia, and where I'm from isn't that really that far from cast so it's kind of cool to me that Lionel you know does the cast stuff so when they make it I try to buy it it doesn't always happen but I try to get it uh, I got this engine from Legacy Station I don't know maybe three months ago just kind of been sitting on the layout uh, it's a pretty impressive little engine uh, I know there's been a lot of people talk about them on the forums and other uh, YouTube and other things on the internet um, I like this little engine I think it's pretty cool I didn't really know what to expect when I ordered it. Um, I was kind of iffy because the price on it, I thought the price was a little high given how big it is. And you know what I've paid for other big steam engines. And this is just a little engine. So I wasn't wasn't really sure what to expect. But uh, as soon as I took it out of the box, I was pretty impressed with it. I thought Lionel did a pretty good job on it. Um, this is the first engine that I've had to deal with that the tender hooks up with a drive shaft. So, I mean, it's no big deal. It's fairly easy to do. It doesn't take a, a rocket scientist to pull it off, but it's the first one I've ever had to deal with, so that was different for me. It also has a uh, tether in the tender. Um, this engine has two pickup rollers like every other engine, but given the size of it, the, the first pickup roller is under the, uh, right under the front trucks, and then the second pickup roller is under the tender. So you have a, a decent amount of space there between pickup rollers, so if you find a dead spot, the engine is more than likely still going to be on a good piece of track, so your engine isn't just going to die out on you. Um, I think Eric Siegel's talked about that with a couple couple things he's had. Maybe it's the tie ejector car and uh, or the tie ejector and the car that goes behind it. I think has the same tether deal. I can't remember. I'm, I know I've seen him do a video with one of those, but uh, it's a cool little thing that Lionel put into their engines to keep them moving and not you know stuck where you're constantly on the layout trying to get them moving again. Um, this engine also has a lot of uh, moving gear, running gear on it, uh, kind of like the Shays, except it's obviously not a Shay, so if the Shay has all of its drive stuff on the side, the Heisler's underneath. When I get it running here, I'll try to get that in a video where you guys can see all that moving running gear. It's pretty cool. Cool thing that uh, Lionel did and make sure all that stuff looks right when it's moving around, so uh, it's a pretty cool little engine. So let's get this thing fired up and uh, we're running around trying to show you some of the features on it. I don't have any of the quick disconnect cars that um, Lionel made when these engines came out. I didn't order any of them yet so I'm just going to be pulling a flat car with a lumber load and a box car. And before you guys blow me up and say that's not what the highest order pulled, I know, I'm aware, I just don't have any of the little cars so I'm just going to pull these couple cars around with the with the engine just to have it, let it pull something around. So uh, let's go ahead and fire it up and run it around a little bit.
as you can see, it's a pretty cool little engine. Uh, makes a lot of uh, makes a lot of smoke. Uh, it's got this little. I guess you would call it a spark deflector. I guess is what they would call it back in the day. Maybe an ember deflector. Yeah, it's uh, it just tips over. It's on a hinge. Put your smoke fluid in, and then uh, that has a screen in it. That's what gives it that real thick fog of smoke. Um, it's a pretty cool little engine. Uh, as you can see, the running gear did the uh, side shot there. It's uh, a lot of cool stuff going on there. It uh, has all the legacy features you would uh, expect from a normal legacy engine. And I think the, uh, I want to say the minimum curve on this is 031. Sounds right. I'm going to go with that. I'm sure if it's wrong, somebody's going to tell me. But it's either 031 or 042. I'm pretty sure it's 031. Um, any, uh, anybody looking to get one of these? I know there's still several of them out. There's a couple of road names. Um, I'm not even going to try to tell you the road names because I don't remember them off the top of my head. I don't have the catalog here. So, um, if you're looking to get a Shea, um, if you're looking for a dealer, a Lionel or MTH dealer, call Legacy Station. Um, they can get you hooked up with whatever you need. So, um, until next time, thanks for watching.